Now we are going to discuss about all gear headstock mechanisms. All gear headstock is commonly used in modern lathes because of following advantages. It gives wider range of spindle speeds. It is more efficient and compact than pon pulley mechanism that is back gear headstock mechanism. Power available at the tool is almost constant for all spindle speeds. Here, belt shifting is completely eliminated. The vibration of the spindle speed is reduced. Therefore, more power can be transmitted to spindles. This picture shows the model of the all geared stock mechanism. The power from the constant speed motor is delivered to the spindle through a bell drive. Speed change is made by shifting these levers. The different spindle speeds are obtained by shifting the levers into different positions to obtain different gear combinations. This mechanism has splined spindle, intermediate shaft and splined shaft. The splined shaft receives a power from the motor through a bell drive. So in this all gear shaft mechanism, so the first shaft is called as splined shaft. This splined shaft has three gears namely G1, G2 and G3. G1, G2 and G3 can be shifted with the help of lever along the shaft. That is, these three gears can be moved in axial direction on this splined shaft. Gears G4, G5 and G6 are mounted on intermediate shaft and it cannot move axially. That is, these three gears are fixed. Then gears G7, G8, G9 are mounted on a splined spindle, headstock spindle and it can be moved axially by levers. Now, gear G1, G2, G3 can mesh with G4, G5 and G6 individually. Similarly, gear G7, G8 and G9 are meshed with gears G4, G5 and G6 individually. Hence, it provides nine different speeds. That is, there are uh, in the splined shaft, three gears are there. Intermediate shaft, three gears are there. Splined spindle, three gears are there. So, totally nine gears are available in this headstock mechanism. So, we can able to achieve nine different speeds. For example, Gear G1 is messed with G4 and gear G7 is messed with G4. Hence, we can get the speed of G1 by G4 multiplied by G4 by G7. So, that is first speed reduction. Similarly, for other combination of gears for various speeds are G2 by G5 multiplied by G4 by G7, then G3 by G6 into G4 by G7, then G1 by G4 into G5 by G8. Similarly, G2 by G5 into G5 by G8 and G3 by G6 into G5 by G8. Then another reduction is G1 by G4 into G6 by G9, then G2 by G5 into G6 by G9, then G3 by G6 into G6 by G9. So totally we are can able to achieve nine different reduction in speeds. So this is the speciality of this all gear type headstock mechanisms. So this uh, by using this all gear type headstock mechanism we can able to achieve more number of speed reduction. So we can able to run the spindle with different speeds.